Let's talk a little bit about climbing a corporate ladder. You got a plan, you know where you're going. In order to get there, there's gonna be some steps to help you get there. You're gonna run your own business, but you can't go from student classroom to run your own business and be successful at least 99% of the time you're gonna fail. You need some experience. Why not go work in a company that's like the one you wanna start? Learn something about it. First of all, learn if you like it. And then learn how it works and operates by someone else is paying you. Learn how they do it and what they do that you don't like, and then you can take off and go do your own thing. But there's gonna be steps. How do you climb the corporate ladder? I want everybody to kind of paint a picture in your mind. There's a white wall and it's really tall. You can't see the top and there's a ladder, right? That's you where you're at today are on the first rung of the ladder. You're climbing the corporate ladder and your destination 10 years from now is somewhere up there and people start climbing the ladder. I can't tell you how many people in life only climb one ladder. And they wake up and they've been at a company for 20 years. And what have you accomplished? Maybe you got promoted three times, four times. You got a 3% raise this year, next year. Oh, I got an 8% raise, I got a promotion. You know, I, I, I climbed up the ladder. You know, I spent my entire career at a Fortune 500 company or wherever, and I got somewhere. The way that I look at this, imagine that same wall, but there's 15 ladders. You go up the first run of the first ladder, that represents a company. As soon as you encounter resistance, you step over to the next ladder and keep climbing. And when you hit resistance, you step over to another one and you keep crisscrossing on ladders and you'd be amazed at how much faster you'll climb the corporate ladder. I'll give you an example. To get to the corner office, I worked in eight different jobs. At GE, I was fortunate to get large promotions and I was moving my way up. So I had four jobs in 10 years within that environment, but they were radically different jobs. One was an engineering job, you know, then there were different levels of management. I'm not telling you to go home and quit. Don't do anything you know, that insane. But I'm telling you, if you know where you wanna go, don't let anything stop you. And the worst thing you can do is wake up in the same company 20 years later, sitting in the same cubicle or sitting in the same office and say, if only I woulda. I woulda, coulda, shoulda. Would you use the same letter twice? I sure, there's no problem with hopping back. Your objective is to climb a ladder to get to the top. In order to get to the top, and the top is where you want the top to be. You know, for me, it might be different than for you. And you might not be chasing money or a corner office. You may be chasing something entirely different. That's okay. The ladder is a tool. The wall is your career. You can't see the top. You start climbing and you keep moving. And so in today's world, it's not common for people to necessarily go to work in the same company and stay forever. But I can't tell you how many people I've encountered in my life, in my career, where, you know, geez, that person who was sitting in the cubicle over here when I was CEO 13 years ago, two companies ago, still there, sitting in that cubicle. And as long as that's what their goal and objective was for their life, that's fine. I tell that to, you know, to, to people when I'm talking to my service technicians and people in the field, I tell them, you know what, I need the guy who drives the truck for 30 years because they become the journeymen that teach the next generation how to do that job. But I also need the kid who wants to be a service manager, who wants to be a regional manager, who wants to be a vice president of operations, who wants to be me. And I need to create a path of opportunity that lets people grow in order to keep people employed in my company. And I have one goal and objective for every employee at my company. I wanna create an environment where you can spend your entire career working right here in this company. In order to do that, I have to do four things. I have to pay you a fair wage or you're gonna leave. People don't ever leave jobs because of money, by the way. They leave jobs because they hate their boss. <laughs> Once they hate their boss and they decide they're gonna leave, then they use money as a measuring stick. 
I make x, therefore I need x plus 1 in order to justify leaving. But they don't leave over money, they leave because they hate their, their, their boss. I tell my employees, I want you to stay here forever. To do that I got to do four things. Pay a fair wage, good benefits because we all get old and fall apart. Punch out a few kids, get divorced, get remarried, punch out a few more. I'm just joking. <laughs> right? Remember, I'm not going to bore you. <laughs> got to get you laughing. We all need health care. We're all going to retire. Eventually, you're going to be an old gomer someday like me, and you're going to want to retire. And I tell my employees, I do not want to see you at Home Depot or Walmart as a 70-year-old greeter handing me a cart. Unless you're just trying to get out of the house for five hours and, you know, get some alone time, some me time. That's okay. <laughs> but not because you financially need it. I don't want to see that. Got to have a good retirement. But the most important thing a company has to give a person, even if I pay a fair wage, great benefits, great retirement plan, people still leave. They leave because they don't have opportunity. And some people want to climb that ladder and some people want to get to the top of that wall and I have to create opportunity. Why do we know each other? Because I'm currently sponsoring four executive MBAs here. About to send my fifth, the P-K-E-M-B-A-M-O-U-S-C, -E <laughs> whatever that is, President and Key Executive MBA. So I'm sending somebody else, one of my senior people come, is coming here. I have to invest in people. I have to grow my business in order to create the opportunities that allow somebody to have a career path and grow. And so I build marketing campaigns around people and careers. If you go to our website, coolsys.com slash careers, there's all these videos targeting veterans, targeting entry level people coming out of trade school, targeting mid-career people whose last name isn't the same as the owner of their little company and so they have no future. And then I show a career map. Here's the 10 jobs you can have when you come here as we are growing like a weed. It's important that you have that opportunity, but if you don't get it where you're at, switch ladders. No, you can't quit your job every six months because then people like me say, eh, you, you know, you're a stability problem. But again, your goal and objective is not to make me happy. It's to get what you need out of my company while you work for me in order to get up your ladder and get where you want to be in 10 years. And I have no problem with that. I tell people all the time, I'm not expecting people to stay here forever. If you have a great opportunity, fabulous, congratulations, thank you. Thank you for spending you know, some time here with us. Go. So it's important you know where you're going and that you don't let anything get in your way. Mm -hmm.